Cardiac tumors are very rare things. Uh, some surgeons don't even see one malignant cardiac tumor in their whole career. We've been fortunate to have people send us patients with cardiac tumors because we're such a highly specialized uh, care center. And I've just realized that tumors when done elsewhere could be done better. With really rare conditions, it's important to send them to somebody who has a lot of experience. Obviously, if you've only done something once, you're not going to do as good a job as somebody who's done it a hundred times. So I thought that perhaps we should get the area of cardiac tumors a little bit more specialized. I'd like to bring people in the different parts of the hospital that deal with cardiac tumors together. Because even though I may have done a lot, relatively speaking, compared to other people in Canada, there may be other parts of the hospital that people are working on it that I don't know about. I don't know perhaps about treatments and perhaps I should give some chemotherapy before I do the tumor. I don't know if there's better imaging. I don't know what the pathologists are looking for when they when we send them a piece, etc. So I thought it'd be good to bring experts from around the world to Toronto to talk about this very, very rare topic that really has never been discussed in an organized way in the world before. The goal of the conference really is to improve patient care. The goal of the conference is to get experts from different parts of the hospital, different fields of expertise together so we can all talk about it and realize what's important to one field may be important to another or may actually not be important or what we feel is not important uh, is really important for another field. So it's really to improve quality care for these patients. Now within Canada, we're a large center and we've always been an area where patients uh, come to us who have very, very difficult and very, very complicated problems. It's not just in cardiac surgery that's the case, it's the case in other areas as well. We have a good liaison being across the street from the Princess Margaret Hospital and our radiology department, our imaging department is uh, world class. So I think the, the uh, conditions in this hospital are ripe for bringing people together uh, to talk about this sort of thing. As the treatments around the tumors and around the patients get better, we may actually see more of these. The hope is we're gonna see more because care in Canada uh, is going to become more centralized. What I want to happen is that uh, because this is an international conference with international attendees, that care around the world will increase so that around the world there will be centers of excellence. So it's really an impetus to create centers of excellence, not just in Canada, not just in Toronto, but around the world. The impact on a, a patient uh, who is unfortunate enough to develop a cardiac tumor will be that we'll, we will have uh, more comprehensive care, more understanding of the ways to, to diagnose that, to look for other problems, to treat it perhaps before we go in and operate, to uh, have better resections, which means better removal, and then um, hopefully have a better long-term outcome. Cardiac tumors uh, can be broken up into the benign things, things that uh, grow in there that shouldn't be there, that sometimes are found by chance. Sometimes they don't cause any problems and we just watch them. Sometimes they're in a dangerous location and we have to fix them. Um, sometimes they're caused uh, for an unknown reason. The person's unfortunate enough to develop cancer of the heart, which is extremely rare. Uh, sometimes it's related to cancer spread to the heart from other cancers in the body. And those are the patients that are very difficult because you know, right now there's not really much treatment for them. The first tumors that people see really are the uh, small tumors, uh, the size of a marble or size of a, a toonie inside the heart. And these are um, in areas that uh, are easy to remove and we remove them. And then as you become more and more specialized, you see larger and larger tumors, which are in places where it's previously had not been touched. And so when you see the people, you want to use other techniques that you've learned in other parts of the heart, in other operations of the heart, and you have to try to think to yourself, can I use these other techniques to remove this tumor? And so it's been an evolution in cardiac surgery over the past 20 years. And some of those other techniques, if you're careful, 
can actually be used in cardiac tumors, and that's what I've done over the years, and subsequently have, have resected larger and larger tumors. It's going to be so exciting to have people in the room on the faculty who are just as excited about these sorts of things and possibilities and moving the, the, the uh, field forward as I am. That's going to be the most exciting part.